club. Also, uh, I was looking back on it. I've started most of the episodes of Final Fantasy 2. Yeah, I don't like to start episodes. That's fair. I'm fine talking once a minute. I just don't want to be like, Hello, welcome back to Yacht Club. I'm here with uh, Sam today, and, and we're playing Final Fantasy 2 again. We this are. place is shitty. It is. I fucking hate it. Is that... <laughs> is that it? Like... <laughs> Yeah, okay, that works. Yeah. Fucking... I'm gonna edit this. That whole line's going in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate starting episodes. Hey! Welcome back! <laughs> press no. start. I don't want to press start, Sam. Alright. Fucking... This dungeon's annoying. I don't like it. Yeah, uh, I was looking at a walkthrough earlier to see, like, how many more floors there were. Oh, yeah? And that walkthrough showed, like, the loot and everything. Mm -hmm. I didn't memorize it. But more importantly, it gets good. Does it get good? Yeah, like the first floor is all trash. Second floor is not good. Third floor is, yeah, all right. First floor is pretty good. Really? Because, yeah. I mean, I know we got a couple potions, which was a little annoying. I know there's a, a flame sword somewhere on this floor. Ooh, that sounds cool. I'm pretty sure it's like a mithril sword with slightly more power that also does fire damage. I want it. I want to go oh, I want a lot. Uh, Furion would really fucking benefit from that. Ice and blind? We don't need either of those. Let's get out of here with that shit. <laughs> we need the flame sword. <laughs> flame sword. Flame sword. Flame sword. Flame sword. Flame sword. Flame sword. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the name of this episode. Yeah, flame sword? Uh, it could be. What if something <laughs> more impressive happens? What, Sam? What's more impressive than a flame sword, Seth? I mean, my penis. A flame penis. <laughs> it's called gonorrhea. <laughs> uh, to clarify, I, I, I don't have gonorrhea. <laughs> also, I still have my hoodie on, so I hope it doesn't get any hotter in this short span of time that we're recording. So I definitely shouldn't take off my shirt so it doesn't get any hotter. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to take your shirt off in another Final Fantasy <laughs> 2 episode. I really like the title of that one. <laughs> Shirts off to you. Yeah. Oh, I thought want, it was real fucking magic. creative when I did that. Oh, you put the title on that one? Yeah. Okay. I did a lot of the titles. Sam's so like, I'll do titles and descriptions. And I was like, we need these for SEO as soon as the video goes up. Sorry, <laughs> Tim. Not waiting. That's fair. Um, are we still... I don't know. Probably. Are we still putting, like, all of our, uh... Facebook, Twitter, and all that shit in, like, the, uh... Descriptions and whatnot? I think so. Okay. Maybe. Oh, wait. Go back. Go back. Go up. Uh... We okay. don't know what chest that potion or that flame sword's in. There wasn't a chest up there. Yeah, there was. No, there wasn't. I just saw it. Not a chest we could have gotten to without moving around a little bit. What are you talking about? Like, there wasn't a chest right then and there for us to get into. It was a fucking door that probably leads to something. No. There was a chest. You just trust me. Okay. Sam. All right. Have a little faith. Okay. I will. I trust you. I was gonna start singing a song, and I just don't remember what song it was. I'm sorry. Uh, fuck it. You could have sang a song about. I, I'm assuming a song about faith, yeah? Could be. So, anything in, like, a fucking music book that you pick up at church? Those are oh, all about uh, faith. The, the one song that's all like, because you gotta have faith. I don't know if it says faith, but it's, it's all like, uh, uh. I don't know. I, I know, know. I know the uh, "You Gotta Believe" song from Parappa the Rapper. I don't know that song at all. Have you ever played Parappa the Rapper? I don't believe so. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's a. Uh, it was a PS One game. Uh huh. It's like a PS One rhythm game, and you know, you just play as this uh, kid dog looking thing. That's his name's Parappa, and like you know, you go through him trying to his like adventure to try and impress this girl he really likes, and like. Uh, He's like, oh man, maybe if I learned uh, Kung Fu, uh, this girl would really like me. But like, it's... <sighs> he goes to like the Kung Fu Dojo and starts rapping. He's, uh... Oh, that chest. Yeah. Sam. And like, he learns all these... Le Blood sword! Dude. That sounds cooler than a fire sword. It does. But it's, yeah, it's just a rhythm game. Like, you press the buttons to the beat and whatnot. Okay. And like, uh, at the end of it, he's like, they're all like, oh, look, Parappa, in your, uh, quest to, 
you know, fucking impress this girl. Look how much you've learned about yourself and how much you've, you know, what you've become. He's like, yeah, he's just like, yeah, I gotta believe. Okay. It's a lot better than I make it sound, I promise. That actually sounds like garbage. <laughs> Shitty poo-poo dicks. <laughs> That's a bunch of poopy ass dicks. <laughs> Covered in a mound of chocolate feces. Is that a direct quote from Game Trump? Game Trump. Game Trumps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Game Trumps. They're fucking. Uh, <laughs> like I, I'm not gonna try and hide that the fact that I watch Game Grumps and a lot of my comedies influenced by it. Is Wingblade the a sword? Sword that steals. Vi yeah, Wingblade's a sword. I thought it was a knife. Surprisingly light, powerful sword. Oh shit. Is the blood sword better than the no? Damage wise, no, but it steals vitality. So heals. Yeah. Which isn't huge, but it means Maria doesn't have to heal him. Let's test it. <sighs> Might as well. Let's give him the blood sword and fucking Wow. That's what? Oh. 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 I feel... The blood sword was a sword we had in the early part of the game, remember? No. I did. We we actually picked up the blood sword before. It's a weapon we've had before. Okay. So this isn't the an amazing drop. Yeah. It's... We need to find fire sword. Flame sword. Flame sword. Flame sword. Uh... Oh gosh, what was it? Do you, there was a show I used to watch as a kid where, uh... He was- this guy was like some sort of warrior, and, uh, he had a talking sword. And, uh -huh. like, he was, uh... Was it He-Man? No. I don't think He-Man had, he had a talking sword. What am I thinking of? I- th uh, I don't remember a talking sword. Like, the sword was- the sword- it's like, it wasn't a serious show, it was like, a comedy show or something like that. And, like, the guy who had the sword was a total coward. Um, fuck, what was it? I can honestly say I didn't watch it. Ah, uh -huh. now, now I want to know what I'm talking about. I also want to know what you're talking about. Um, <sighs> what up? Uh, like, he was with his family, and his, like, sister was the queen of the land and all that. Okay. But, like, she didn't want to be queen. She was, like, a fucking valley girl, and she's like... I just want to go shopping all the time, and like, uh, their fucking sister was like some sort of wild animal. Uh, and like, how about you guys comment down below if you know what show Sam's talking Dave the Barbarian! Dave the Barbarian. It was Dave the Barbarian. Oh, I remember that shit. He didn't have a talking sword. Yeah, he did. His sword talked to him. Bullshit. His sword talked to him. I'm looking look, that up. Look it up. You have my iPad right there in your hands. Yep. We're gonna find that shit. Dave the Barbarian didn't have a talking sword. Yeah, You're wrong. Had talking sword. Wrong. Also, uh, wrong. Fearin just got another wing blade. Dude. So fucking the ancient sword definitely going in his optional equipment. That's fair. Uh, where's where's your internet? It's Safari. Right oh down yeah. There. Because Safari's for and... you iPad losers. Well, losers. MacBook users really. Eh. Losers. So, when you type in D and find dicks.com, please don't mention it. Uh, D is DeviantArt. What's P? Oh, no. P is pad.wikia. What's pad.wikia? Uh, Puzzles and Dragons. P-O-R-N? <laughs> is pornography addiction? Pornography statistic. These aren't yours. These are the Google search ones. There's no actual website. <laughs> Porn. Pornography addiction. Do I have a porn addiction? Pornhub.com. <laughs> have, have you seen those, like, the Google search? Like, like they're clearly jokes, but, like, Google yeah. searches that um, appear in, like, um, it was like, uh, it's like, oh my god, my dog just, uh, like got onto my computer uh, while I was up and looked up things on Google and shows like uh, good boys. Am I a good boy? How to be a good boy? <laughs> That's great. Uh, uh, important part, Dave the Barbarian. Oh yeah, that 
the whole thing we got on the internet for. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, didn't Billy have a roommate once? Yeah. It just like every morning, it just only like wake up the entire dorm. Oh. Lula is Dave's enchanted sword. Yeah. See, I told you I had a talking sword. Fuck this room. You gonna gonna read anything about it? No. Nope. Wasn't, wasn't she like a sassy, uh, like a sassy black lady too, or something? The fuck if I know. Uh, it does say that she is a very wise per person. She is often annoyed by Dave's stupidity. Cause Dave was a dumbass, but he was a ba -ba barbarian. Ba -ba barbarian. That's important. <laughs> uh, oh gosh. No, uh, Billy's roommate. He didn't do that every day. I remember the story now. Sorry, it's very important. No, that's fine. It's super important. Fucking, uh, <laughs> one day though, he was just getting out of the shower, completely fucking naked, like in the dorm room. Yeah. Walking down the hall from the showers to their room with like just a fucking towel, right? Just saying, B -b barbarian, over and over <laughs> down the hallway for like the whole fucking dorm to hear and be like, what the fuck's going out there? And everyone looks out, it's fucking. Naked man walking down the down the hallway saying "Bubba Barbarian." That's great. Uh, this is uh, the fucking rug we have in this room. Yeah. Uh huh. Sam rug. He did naked yoga on every day. Really? Yep. It wasn't naked yoga. He had underwear on. It was still near naked yoga. Promiscuous yoga. I really hope Neil watches this episode before he leaves a dislike on it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Neil, if you're disliking our videos. Thanks. Thank That's all. <laughs> I'm, I'm just ha happy you're watching him, at least. Sometimes. You're here for us. That's <laughs> all that matters. Yeah. Uh, what other shows did I watch as a kid? I remember, um... Well, until I was in high school, I still watched shows like, uh... Little Einsteins and shit like that. Just, I mean, like... Not because I was, like, super enamored with the, uh plot of Little Einsteins. It was just what? Like, what do you mean? Their plot was amazing. It's, no, it wasn't. I don't fucking know. <laughs> it was just like, yeah, I'll watch this. It's good enough to keep my attention. I think uh, I think that's all they really shoot for in that show. Like, yeah, that, that's real, like... Can I keep a child's attention? Yes? Yeah. Good all right. show. Good show. Alright, we can keep a child's attention. Can we keep a 16-year-old high schooler's <laughs> attention? Dude, just... And I'm, get the, get the, get the, and like, I'm just sitting there, I'm like, they like, ask me quite, like, super, like, super easy questions, like, do you know what music is? And I'm like, yeah, I know what music <laughs> is. And they're like, cool! And then they'd still explain what music is, and I'd be like, even though I said, yeah, I know what music is, I still want to hear what music is. <laughs> or, uh, fucking... Dora, or shows like Dora or something like that was something I really liked to watch, too. I don't remember what the show was, but I remember I was in, like, middle school or whatever. Yeah. And, like, it was clearly a show for, for preschool elementary shit. Yeah. But they had two apples, and there was a three-headed dragon. And they had to figure out how to divide the apples in order to give the, the dragon equal parts so that it would let them go. They divided each apple into thirds... And then gave each dragon two thirds, and I was like, "Man, this oh, is fractions. <laughs> this is what my actual math teacher is talking about." <laughs> this, this is what my math teacher is talking to me right now in class. Flight mail. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, let's give it to Gus. <laughs> nice. Oh, how much defense boost was that? Uh, nice. So, cool. So. You should give oh, it to. She has a blood sword now. Oh, is that better than her bow? Uh, she's backlines. I hit strong. No, she's not. She looked backlines. She do well, she looked it, but she's not. Go um, down. One. Don't go through that door. Maybe there's something in this door. I don't care. Like I know, I know the doors <laughs> in this fucking game are all goddamn traps, but maybe, may just, just maybe. All right, check the door. 
and we'll go through three more fights. <laughs> you both know it. It's content. You know. Is it content? Sounds good. Content. Bullshit. <laughs> but it's certainly content. But yeah, anyway, like I was saying, with shows like fucking, uh, I just slapped the mic on accident. With shows like Dora and things, like, uh, they'd just be like, do you know where this is? And I'm like, yeah, it's right there. And she's like, good job! It, like, gave me a sense of like, yeah, I did that. Dora found the fucking cake mix because of me. And it's a sense of pride and accomplishment. Is it? Like, yeah. Is this random bullshit talking, or is this real real stuff? A little bit of both. Okay. Because, I mean, like, I didn't get pride and accomplishment in school since I never did homework or, you know, anything. So, I had to find other sources. It's like, uh... Did you ever consider doing homework instead? Yes, I had. Then I was like... Did you ever do it instead? Then I was like, man, this shit is gay as fuck. Damn. So, I didn't do my homework. <laughs> Damn. What? <laughs> like, man, look at this homework. Fuck it. I'm gonna watch Dora. <laughs> yeah, basically. Okay. Uh, also, the segue back into this was what? great. Because you started with the Bubba Barbarian, but you were like, Bubba, but anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure it wasn't intentional. I know it wasn't, but it was beautiful. <laughs> uh, I know Cammie. She is my girlfriend. And really? Yeah. Surprising, right? Yeah. I just found out today. <laughs> Apparently, it's been something for fucking five years. Shit. Like, what the fuck, right? Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. But, <laughs> but um, wow. she watches uh, Paw Patrol. I have no idea what that like, is. On, it's a uh, show about, like, um, a bunch of dogs who are, like, emergency responders. Like, police officers, firefighters, you know, EMTs, okay. things like that. And, like, uh, they get into, like you know, new drama every week about, like, oh, no, Marshall, the, uh, I think he's the police dog, you know, uh -huh. got caught under a landslide while trying to save someone's life, Fuck. so now we have to save Marshall. Save Marshall! Yeah, I know, and, like... I like Marshall, I don't know him, but he's a dog, like, so I like him. Yeah, I know, right? It's fucking... I, I feel a connection with the characters. That was a really lucky hit from Furion. It was. Was it a crit? No, the controller <sighs> didn't shake. I think Disappointing. It's fucking awesome. You know how great it would be to crit on 777 as an attack? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Inventory is full. We gotta, we gotta other up. Yep. Uh, or potions. Yeah. Potions are a lot less useful. Fear and potion. There we go. And Fear and potion. Potion on Maria. Cool. That's fair. Uh, and potion on, on potion Lele. On Lele. Lele. Lelia? Lelia. Lelili? Lelia. Backstabber. That sounds really cool. fucking useful. Cool, I got useful. Tim. Tim what? Tim. <laughs> You're a dick. Uh, Fiend Fang with the muddle effects. I don't know what that means, but we'll use it on someone maybe. Probably maybe. not. I might, might use it on the boss. Might burn some of these like... Uh, well... Eh, yeah, it's whatever. I'll use them. I'll find a way to use them. <laughs> I'll find a way. If there is a way, it shall be found. Give it to Gus so he doesn't one hit kill everything. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! That, that's the. No! <laughs> no. Are you gonna say the best part about this game is the fact that <laughs> Gus one hit kills everything? <laughs> no. Just Gus is real good. And I love him. And he's being fucking bullied. He because he has literally over double of fear and health. It's true. He, I think he almost has six times wow. Maria's health. That was 3,200 damage from Gus. Yep. I know we're fighting ogres and he has ogre killers. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, still pretty cool. A little bit. He uh, <laughs> killed it like ten times over. He ogre killed it. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Get it? I hate you. Because they're ogres. You're... His weapon's an ogre killer. That was overkill. And he over... Oh, Seth, you're funny. Ah. Seth's got jokes. Funny joke. I fucking... <laughs> so, if we're going to keep talking about Game Grumps, I fucking <laughs> hate Joke Yoda. 
What? Like, I... What? I don't like Joke Yoda. Bullshit. Joke I, Yoda's the best. I just... I don't know what it is. Like, the... <laughs> I don't it's like Joke Yoda. I can't do Joke Yoda. I don't know how they do it. They do it so fucking well, though. Well, I mean, Aaron's a voice actor. He's been a voice actor for a good amount of his life. What does he voice act? I mean, he voice acts his own animations. He voice acts in other people's animations. He's just... He's just a voice actor. Okay. Like, um... If you've ever listened to him talk about his, like, old days on Newgrounds, he just, like, he was just part of the community. He was a well-known member, and people would just be like, Hey, Aaron, you want to help me do such and such? And they're like, yeah, sure, no problem. Like, I mean, you can trace Aaron to a lot of people just because uh -huh. of what he's done on Newgrounds. Like, uh, there's a music artist called Ken Ashcorp. He's a independent guy. Okay. You know, everything like that. He d he writes his own music and all that. Good, good, good. Um, He's got that good, good. And like, I thought he had. I I could have sworn he had no ties to Game Grumps or anything like that. But uh, he back on Newgrounds, he actually helped make a game with Aaron. Huh. And like another and a couple other people. It it was nothing like super amazing it was a game called vuvuzela hero okay and like it, it was one button and it was like guitar hero but with vuvuzela but like i think aaron did all the art uh don't quote me on this because i have no idea but like i think aaron might have done all the art ken ashcorp did the music for vuvuzela hero and then like i think a couple of other people did like the programming and stuff like that but i mean like just just the fact that i was like yeah, no, this artist I really like has no ties to Aaron Hansen at all. And then, like, he I'll be damned. Ties. Yeah. He, fucking. Or, like, uh. Back when I used to watch a lot of, like, just, like, stupid animations on YouTube when I was a kid, I'd just, like, look up Pokemon and find all these animations or, like, something like that. Yeah. Uh, I was like, man, there's no way all these people who make a lot of funny things know each other. But they do. But did. fucking, I'll, like,. Aaron and Oni fucking are, like, best friends and shit like that. Like, uh, I stumbled upon Stamper TV one day, and I'll be fucking, uh, he wrote a song with Aaron called Fat Refund about the tech, like, I just, fucking, it's real cool seeing, like, how all these people know each other and whatnot. It's like, hey, fucking. That's fair. This is a super rambly, dumb, just, topic that's coming off my head, but I mean, mm -hmm. like. No, I get it. Like, it's cool. I feel like a big part of Game Grumps' success is, uh, first of all, they're super fucking funny anyways. Oh my god, I fucking love them. <laughs> but from the get-go, Aaron was really well-known. Uh, yeah, when he when he and John started doing it, John had already been, like, making his JonTron videos forever. Uh-huh. Aaron was super, like, uh, fucking, Aaron's revered as a god by some people. No. Th that's, that's not true, <laughs> but I mean, like, um... Fucking, to be an eager raptor was, like, a thing, kinda. Really? Yeah, like, uh, I, he actually made a video about it called the Ego Rapture. I uh, love it. But, it's just like, um, or a Kalka Dagger. That looks really cool. <laughs> I want that thing. But it just, uh, he was real popular and, like, people were, like, uh. I, don't, I actually don't know the logistics behind it, but fucking, like, I don't know. Watch the video and just like. I won't. I, I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to watch shit. <laughs> Eager Raptor's real popular. Aaron, Aaron's real cool. And like. Uh-huh. It's cool. Good talk. Fuck. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys next time on. No. <laughs> Uh, should we? Or like... No, nah, we can... We're on the fifth floor. There's while. five floors total. If oh, are nothing, there? Yeah. If so, nothing else, we can finish the dungeon. Yeah. Say, or maybe save the boss for next episode. Nah. Nah, we're gonna finish this boss. Go. Finish it. Might as well, because Gus will fucking one-hit it, like... Every time. <laughs> the big dick god he is. The, the great thing is, uh, we give Gus so much credit. He does more damage than Furion, but Furion always swings first. Like, almost consistently. Yeah. So, yeah. Gus always finishes the boss in one hit. But it's not the full boss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, if you're having trouble opening a jar, 
It's yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, I loosened that for you. It's like, sure you did, buddy. <laughs> Karen's like, yeah, I cut off its leg. And Gus is like, yeah, but here's its head. <laughs> I, I I, made it say, ow. Sure, sure you did, but like, Gus like pats Fearin on the back. Like, Fearin just coughs up blood. <laughs> it's like, eh. It's like, ooh, I'm, I'm so sorry about it. <laughs> Maybe one day you can swing with the big dicks. <laughs> but Furion is a big dick. <laughs> Gus just, like, has a monster dong. <laughs> I dropped my magnum condom for my monster dong. <laughs> that's, uh, that's how you pick up the ladies if you're Frank. Did you know he's an actually a good actor? Yeah. He's a big deal. Yeah, I, I like... That sounded really assholey, but Danny DeVito's super cool. Yeah. Like, he was, uh, Phil and, um, what was it, Hercules? Yeah. That little, uh, uh the satyr. The trainer of Herc. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, fuck. Oh, which makes me think, fucking, uh, I hate coaches. You hate coaches? Like, yes. in general, or the premise of them? The, the premise of them. Why? Like, uh, I just, I don't know what it is about it, like, um... The world's best, like, uh, soccer player, yeah? Okay. Should technically be worse than his coach, right? No. Not necessarily, because a coach can look from a different perspective and say, hey, here's what you're kind of weak on in comparison to your other things. The coach doesn't have to be better than the player, it just has, he has to know enough to be on par with the player to uh, say, hey, here's where you could improve. You're better than me still, I understand that, but you could improve in this aspect. I, it's I just coaches are, I, I guess I shouldn't have said I hate coaches. It's just the concept of a coach is weird. Like, I understand, like, you can't pick up on all your flaws, so, like, having someone there, like, point out what you're doing wrong is super nice. This isn't a four-door bullshit. This is a 40-door bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Three doors down, more like 18 doors down. It's fucking ridiculous. Aren't these guys super low on health? Uh, their, their counterpart, like the Shriekers were. Uh -huh. They only have like 20 or something, but who knows? These guys might also be. Won't have the chance to find out, because fucking everyone's doing crazy damage. Yeah, damage. Yep. damage. damage. Dig Dimadone. Less than 100? Less than 79. Yep. <laughs> Damn. What, what was that you said? Dig Dimadome? Doug Dimadone, owner uh, of the Dimsdale Dimadome. Uh, I'm Doug Dimadome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimadome. God damn. The Doug Dimadome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimadome? <laughs> That's right. The Doug Dimadome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimadome. The same, uh, same Dimsdale Dimadome that's showing Crash Nebula on ice? Yeah, you're right. Fucking great. <laughs> that's. That's one of the best parts of fucking Fairly Odd Parents. Uh, like, absolutely. I love it. Um, there's also a big one that I really liked is... Co or, yeah, Cosmo is pretending to be Timmy. Because Timmy's trying to hide for whatever reason, right? Yeah. And the parents walk in, and the dad's like, You're, uh, green and warm. That's all this, uh, fucking symptoms of steamed broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> Re really? Yeah. He says that? Yup. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, God. There was one joke uh, where, um, uh, fucking, you know when uh, they had that kid poof? Like the new fairy parent? The fairy, like, the fairy. God the kid, baby? I guess. Yeah, okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, um, and like, uh, Timmy and, uh, Cosmo, like, sent Wanda off to the spa for a day or something like that. Uh-huh. And they're like, don't worry, we'll take care of the kid. And she's like, oh, okay, I, if you guys insist, insist. So what happened was, uh, you know, they started taking care of the kid and things got out of hand. And, uh, Timmy was running back and forth getting stuff. And, his parents were watching a show that was like, are you a bad parent? And things like that. Yeah. And the guy was like, uh, and the guy was like, if your kid's saying, hey, 
Uh, I'm gonna go up into my room for a long time. Don't bother me. Uh, so Timmy, you know, came down. He was like, hey, I'm gonna be in my room for a long time. Don't bother me. Ran back. And, um... He was like, and if they insist on, like, you really don't bother them, you know, he came out, hey, like, seriously, don't bother me. He's like, and if your kid's using a lot of paper towels, <laughs> so, you know, Timmy comes back, he's like, I'm using all these paper towels, don't bother me. It was basically, like, if your kid's up in their room constantly masturbating, <laughs> you're a bad parent. And, like, it just... What the fuck? <laughs> None of these doors. No, no, one of them was. Okay. I just, I walked out of it because it looked like progression, and I was like, maybe there's something okay. really good in that other door. I'll, sorry to cut the story off, but it was very important that I be mad at the fucking game for a minute. <laughs> no, I understand. But, yeah, it just, oh, fuck, sorry, I didn't mean to hit my mic. Should but be. It was basically like, yeah, you're a bad parent because your kid's up just jerking it off in his room. Yeah. I'm like, it, clearly it would have been like, just... A joke that whizzed by Most the kids, kids yeah. as, uh, oh, hey, look, it's just coincidence. Ha, ha, ha. Right. But, like, for adults, it's like, man, the fucking 10 year old just <laughs> up there in his room. Just jerking. <laughs> Using them jerkins. Also, I love that there's a lotion called Jergens, because it's, like, oh, yeah. one letter, letter off of jerkin. Jerkins. Yeah, and everyone's like, yeah, you gotta use lotion up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, yeah. Ooh. Look, a fancy-ass fucking chest. I bet it has it's a white mask in it. White mask! From the treasure chest. Cool. Keep walking. Fuck this place. Let's We're out. up here. Oh, return panel. It's a sideways barbell. Awesome. So, okay, we have the white mask. Mm-hmm. I believe... Uh-huh. Because now we need yeah? the crystal rod. Okay. I don't know where to get the crystal rod, but... Me neither, but we have the white and black mask. We do. I'm going to talk to Gordon, show him that we got the white mask, and in ma next episode, we'll be where we need to be. The Emperor has not been too late, but I'm sure he's ready another soul. Please bring us the Ultima Scroll as soon as possible. So okay. we got to get the Ultima Scroll. Yep. Take the white mask to Mysidia, the mages... All right, so... To Mysidia ne we go. Next episode, we'll be in Mysidia. Uh, and... Quick side note beforehand. Yeah. Uh, in the story, you find the white mask first, and then later go and find the black mask. Like, yeah. if you're doing it right. For those who haven't watched up to here and are just, like, catching up on this episode or whatever, we found the black mask early on accident. Yeah, we just went through a dungeon and was like, hey, let's go through this dungeon for shits and giggles, and we got the black mask out of it. Yeah, so, like... Find, find that episode if you want to see that. It's like Secret Dungeon or some shit. But yeah, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Where we go to Mysidia. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. See ya.